Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. Here at the home server channel you will find more tutorials about docker, server and other things like home automation soon. In this episode we will install docker and docker compose the easy way. Afterwards we install a nice management software with a web GUI called Portainer. So let's get started. At first we need a virtual machine or a bare metal server with an installed OS. I prefer Debian based distributions like Ubuntu, which I will use in this case. Connect to your server with a terminal tool like PuTTY or Windows Terminal. I imply that you know how to do that. You will need SuperUser, also known as root rights for upcoming steps. Open an interactive sudo shell with sudo i and hit enter. Now we will first check if our system is up to date. apt update and apt upgrade. Well done, if you need to update, please do it and maybe take a reboot. Great. Our system is now ready to proceed to install docker. The easiest way is to use the apt tools. Type apt install docker, docker compose and hit enter. Now your host will try to install docker and its needed components from the Ubuntu archives after confirming installation with Y or yes. Let's check if docker is working with docker ps. This command shows running containers. Docker compose version. Second one shows the version of the installed docker compose. Alright, Everything seems to work as expected. If you want to manage your containers or multiple hosts with a nice GUI you should take a look at Portana. It is lightweight and gets updates regularly. It comes in two different editions. C and E. The community edition handles everything you will need for a home lab. You can get a free business edition license for up to 5 hosts at Portana.io. If your lab is not that big this will be the best option to get everything Portainer offers. If you want to proceed with business edition you can jump to the next chapter. To install the community edition. That is everything you need to execute. I put all needed commands in the description under this video. I rename the volume and the container name, because I install both variants. You don't have to do this. Docker downloads the images it needs for running Portana C. Download times may vary. We can access it with our browser via HTTPS on port 9443. You can ignore this warning. Portana uses a self-signed certificate. Create the admin account with a strong password. As C version is mostly the same as E, I will move on. The install method is nearly the same. We can copy the code beforehand, but then we have to stop the community edition afterwards. They are using the same ports. Paste the code and hit enter. And again, open your browser. Ignore the warning and create an admin account with a strong password. In case you don't own a business key or you have not registered for your free 5 node key please do it now. Open the Portana.io homepage, right at the top you will find the get started free button. Click it and scroll down. Enter your credentials and submit. You will get your key within minutes. Now we can move on with our key. At the Environments tab you can add more hosts or edit them. If you own your own Docker registry or you want to use others than normal you can change them and registries. Simple app templates are also included. Portainer has plenty options and functions to explore. Just a basic example is viewing containers or edit them. 
I hope this tutorial was useful. Give a thumb up, subscribe or leave a comment. Thank you for watching.